Lily writes, hey, Lily, Lillian, big hugs. Question, uh, how likely is a guy not enter a relationship with friends because he doesn't want to screw up the friendship, assuming he knows he has issues and having very serious, about having a very serious relationship? How likely? You know, I believe most men are actually rather virtuous. If they know they're fucked up, we might want to fuck you, but we're not going to we're not going to want to go much past that. So we're going to try to avoid any emotional responsibility in a relationship. Let me repeat that. We will definitely want to have sex with you, but we might be that might be the farthest we can go in a relationship with you. It doesn't make you a bad person. Two people can have a sexual relationship. That's okay too. But you're asking me how likely unlikely. But you know, the thing about human beings, when they get advice, they don't listen because that's the definition of insanity. You know what cracks me up about human beings? One of the things I do as a coach is when a client comes to me all lamenting about some guy and there's just, and I mean, everything about his behavior screams, run, Forrest, run, run, Forrest, run, run, Forrest, run. That's what women come to me with so, with, with, experiences where the behavior from the guy is bad. And I asked this question, if this was your daughter experiencing this, what advice would you give? And it blows me away. How many will say, run away, go, you know, move on everything. And yet they're incapable of doing it. You know, here's the problem with most humans, especially here in the United States. Not only are we suckling on the nipple of victim consciousness, we have weak self-discipline. Let me repeat that. We have weak self-discipline. You know, the, I mean, think about that. You would never want your daughter to experience a relationship with a man who gives bad behavior, but you will tolerate bad behavior after bad behavior, bad behavior. And then you say it's his fault. You say it's his fault. You better be looking at those fingers pointing back because you know you're the one like it's, it's just like you're just praying for magic fairy dust. Jonathan, can magic fairy dust make him change? Can magic fairy dust make our relationship better? No, because magic fairy dust doesn't exist, ladies. So stop expecting people to change when they do little or no work to make changes in their life. I'm yelling. I hope you understand why. So Lillian, thank you. I appreciate that. I wouldn't, it's not very likely in my book. 